Hi everyone, Alex here. Today I'm going to show you an unboxing of the Intel Nuke 12 Mini PC and I'm going to take it for a test drive. I'm going to connect it to two monitors using a very simple Solera docking station and some 4K HDMI cables. Before this gets out of hand, I'm going to say it. This is not meant for heavy BIM workloads. However, if you're on a budget and you're looking for a small factor cost-effective system and you're working on small projects, this might be a good option for you. So stick around and I hope you enjoy it. Hi everyone, this is Alex with BIM It Up, where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. Hi everyone, Alex here. I just received this Intel Nuke. Um, it has an Intel i7 processor with 32 gigs of RAM, and uh, it has Thunderbolt. It has actually two Thunderbolt ports. So my hope is that I'm gonna be able to use it with my Solaria docking station. So I'll give it a shot and let you know how it goes. Okay, so let's do a quick unboxing first. All right, so let's see, what do we have here? There's a box. Right here. In the front, I have two USB 3.2 generation two ports. And I also have my three and a half millimeter headset jack and the power button. That's what I have on the front. You can see some ventilation on the side. And then on the back, I have my low voltage DC input. I see I have a Thunderbolt port right here, HDMI, Ethernet port, 2.5 gigs. I have a USB 3.2, second generation up here, and another USB port underneath. Then I have another Thunderbolt port and another HDMI port. And then on the other side, you have this lock and a little bit more ventilation going on. Let's see what else. Our power supply, some mounting screws. The other side of the power supply. Oh, look at that. You have a nice mounting bracket. And that's it. Let's give it a shot. All right, so things seem to be running smoothly. I have the docking station hooked up to that Intel Nuke, and um, I'm gonna take it for a test drive. I'm gonna connect it to the internet and download some stuff and test it out. Hey, so I just finished my setup. Let me show you around. So as you can see, pretty nice resolution. I'm actually editing the video that I'm gonna post now. And what I have going on is I have the Nuke 12 here. I have it hooked up to an external hard drive. And then I have the Thunderbolt port connected to my docking station, which has the two HDMI ports and all my you know keyboard devices, video camera, and it's working perfectly. So everything's good, video's good, audio is good. So let's see, Revit 2023, let's uh, create a new model. Now let's link a few things. Let's link the architectural model, the structural model, and the MEP model. So right now I have architectural, structural, and MEP linked in, and it's moving pretty smoothly. I mean, it's not meant for super heavy loads, but this is decent. Let's got a little section box and see how it behaves. Not bad. Let's go a little in the other direction. It's not bad. Still a little messy, so I'm waiting for a Thunderbolt extension cable so that I can organize things up there. In the meantime, everything's working fine anyway. So I got it organized a little bit more. So on top of the desktop, I have the Nook 12 with the hard drive, and then only the Thunderbolt is what goes up to the docking station where I have all my peripherals connected. And I'm not going to dwell on that too much because I want to replace the desktop with a serious desktop. So for now, that's enough. You should be able to get it for a fairly decent price. And I'm going to leave a link in the video description eventually in case you're interested.